and a half years now, nearly seven years. Um, and I'm also writing a book on what I'm about to tell you. Very basic, not, not rocket science or anything. Um, systematic Ajama basically um, relies on principles of, vas uh, principles of vasodilation where key points are utilized for eliminating certain um, ailments and disorders. Okay, in, in, I'm going to use the um, example of uh, the treatment of fertility and reproductive disorders by way of hijam. Hijam is the Arabic word for wet cupping. Um, and we're going to talk about what is wet cupping, the history of this mode, um, equipment required, which is very basic, um, and the treatment of reproductive disorders. Uh, basically, the key points, I won't go too much into it. I think uh, Dr. Meen and uh, someone else has covered uh, certain aspects. So, um, and also the practical application of wet cupping. And finally, my deductions and results. These are my own, own, own results, by the way. I, I work independently and uh, record everything uh, about my patients. So, uh, basically what we've got to understand is the body is an enclosed vessel. Uh, we have um, biological pathways. Um, we have um, mechanical processes that work in our, within our gut um, and within our, our, our body itself. So what basically happens is, um, when the body processes food matters um, or is afflicted with some kind of a, an ailment, then the healing process kick, kicks in, your immune system, etc. And in the process, you have a lot of uh, waste products um, um, collected in the body, which, the, which you can't physically remove through your gut or other excretory uh, methods. So it, it's basically a physical process of removing toxic waste from the body, which um, is very rejuvenating for the patient. And this is basically chron chronology. You might have seen this before. Um, it's, it's a very old uh, process. Uh, I mean, I, I've, I've read um, Hippocrates used to practice this very, very early, uh, in very, very early stages of uh, uh, recorded history. Uh, but it, it stems beyond that. Um, the Egyptians uh, used to use this, and, uh, and there's um, evidence of this in uh, hieroglyphics. And so it's the oldest practice known to man. So this is the basic apparatus required. Just a simple blade. I mean, in many countries, they do just use um, shaving blades. Uh, suction pump uh, and uh, vacuum cups. So the method of, of cupping. Um, initially, uh, we dry cup the patient first uh, and then apply cups uh, at the key points of where they're required. In this case, as you can see, they're um, applied at the other, either, either side of the spine flap. So here it, it determines, you can, you can observe that the patient might have had some sort of um, either a vert vertebrae damage or some kind of um, uh, pain in his spine. Uh, and he's also had two points uh, placed on his uh, kidneys as well, which from, from, from what we can see is a detox point of the kidney. So key points um, are places where physiological processes occur, where exchanges, gaseous exchanges, filtration processes occur. Um, and this is what my book's going to be about, but I've still got three and a half years of research to do. Um, in um, explaining these mechanisms. So the second stage is the incision elements. Clearly, it's, uh, I've put there, um, fine incisions are made. Um, now, people have their own choices. They, some do it horizontally, some at 45 degree angles. And I've even seen um, uh, therapists uh, apply incisions uh, at, at right, right angles. Um, Horizontal, horizontally, yes. So uh, once the incision is made, uh, septic blood oozes out. Third stage of treatment, wet cupping. Negative uh, pressure is applied to the cups. Um, again, I think it's between 35 and 80 pounds per square inch uh, to uh, acquire an efficient volume of uh, extraction. So, so vacuum cup supply, morbid matter is um, extracted, um, but it's done via capillaries. Via capillaries only. We, the incisions have to be clinical. 
we can't go too deep. So it's, these, these um, incisions are only made at the top layer of the epidermis only, not beyond that. And if someone goes beyond that, then uh, there's a poss possibility of uh, keloid scarring, which, which will never, will, will never um, be gone, no matter what you do. So this is what septic blood looks like. What is septic blood? It's a, a conglomerate uh, of many um, dead blood cells. It's, well, morbid matter, as I said before. It's congealed blood. Um, it's intracellular fluid, um, dead uh, bacteria, gram-positive, gram-negative uh, bacteria that basically float, float around in your body. Um, or heavy metals, aluminium and lead in particular. Um, I'm not going to really go into the biomechanisms of how, the, how, how it ends up to the outer, outer periphery of the body, but basically this is what toxic uh, blood looks like. Um, I have proven with my primitive methods that this blood is um, acidic um, and it's not conducive to uh, human health, uh, acidic environments. Um, I don't think, I think that's about it. So yeah, that has a pH of around, I've established a pH of about 4.5 to 5 um, uh, region. Right, patient cleaned up. Um, the cleaning process is very simple. Once you remove the uh, uh, cups, um, the patient is washed down with antiseptic and some kind of a topical ointment uh, is applied. I, I, I use uh, a particular brand, I don't know if I can, I, I can say the name, but. It has keratins, niacins, riboflavins, which are very basic forms of amino acids, and they um, assist the skin to heal a lot quicker and remove the scarring sooner uh, than later. These are the reproductive points that I've um, concocted myself from treating many. Uh, I mean, I, I personally don't treat females, but I have someone who does. Uh, I only deal with male patients. Um, so we, we apply cups in the systematic keeping. Many people might ask why these particular points. We, we, again, it's going into, uh, I can talk for about 20 minutes why I, I utilize these. But main, mainly, we, we, we follow the main blood vessels within the body. Um, uh, basically, midline on the lower back, you've got your abdominal aorta, which um, uh, when you see the front points here, I haven't got a pointer, sorry. These points, you've got your iliac arteries, and the iliac arteries um, basically send blood to this region. Thank you. Yes. You've got your left iliac artery, right iliac artery, and, and it sends blood to this region. Once you, I mean, you've seen what, seen what congealed congeal blood looks like. It's very thick, uh, and it's solid in, um, um, I'm trying to think of the word, in, 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 in matter. Um, so a little bit of blood, even uh, 10 millimeters of congealed blood, can cause major uh, blood restrictions within the anatomy. And you've got to understand that uh, blood vessels are very, very fine in nature, especially capillaries. It's the smallest um, blood vessel within the body. Okay, these are my own results, evidential results from my own patients based on three treatment sessions from November 2009 to uh, June 2015. Sorry. Um, male patients, 543 uh, now, when, when I've ha had patients, uh, especially male patients, it's for uh, azospermatozoa. Yeah, um, I can't say the name, then thank you for the assistance. Spermia. Spermia, yes, that's right. And erectile dysfunction. Okay. So, but first of all, we always do uh, a full detox of the body. That's my first session. And then second uh, section is, uh, session is the back and then the front region. Now, the results that I achieved, um, out of 543 patients from November 2019, uh, people were, were cured or we received positive feedback results that they were fine. 23 were not sure, uh, no, no results, said 
did, they didn't feel any better. And one, one person just disappeared, I don't know what happened to him. So if you work out the percentage efficacy, it's 95.6%, which is very, very close to 100%. With the female treatment, um, which for some reason, women have hormonal imbalances. They also have um, um, irregular monthly uh, uh, menstrual cycles. So they, but we have a tendency to deal more with female patients with uh, these kind of disorders anyway. The results are there, 762 patients were treated, 740 results were achieved, 20, 22 people not sure or weren't present. Percentage efficacy, 97.1%, <clears throat> which is very good, very close to 100%. Right, this is the health model. So basically, we bring about homeostasis within the body, everything in balance. Um, here we have a diagram, diet and nutrition. If we have poor, poor diet and stress and toxins, the fulcrum is in the center, so obviously it will tilt towards um, ailments and disorders. So this is where we want to be, you know, everything in balance, acid base, um, aerobic metabolism, everything, uh, oxidant, antioxidant balances. Um, basically that's, that's a, a basic health model of homeostasis and that's where we want to be, fresh blood, um, you know, uh, immune system kicked in, everything, everything in balance. So, it is a complete mode of treatment. Hijama can be a solitary treatment. You can work completely uh, independent of any other form of uh, treatment. Um, and it can also be co incorporated with other forms or modes of treatment, i.e. alternative, complementary, conventional. So, it's, it can be work, uh, it can work as an integrated therapy or a solitary treatment on its own. So if we, if we look at this region, there's an overlap between the two. And we can, you can either use it for alternative, conventional, or both, including this. It will work wonders. I can assure you that. Um, I haven't just treated uh, people with uh, infertility problems. I've, I've done, and, I do, and I do look at the root, root pathology of the disease and uh, root mechanisms. And that's how I, I come to sort of a systematic key points within the body. So my final conclusion on the matter is, it's very low cost, highly effective, um, quick and sustained results. Um, however, there's a slight downside. The incisions some people do feel um, are quite painful. I personally, my personal um, feeling um, when I get the... Uh, treatment done is that I, I feel quite good actually. Um, and I'm not a self-harming person, it's just a good feeling. I mean, uh, Dr. Amin uh, performed this treatment recently. I broke my back a few years ago um, and I couldn't walk, so it helped me a lot. So we've demonstrated here that hijama wet cupping is the perfect solution in the treatment of many muscular, vascular and nerve related disorders, alongside a host of other ailments, which I've treated myself. And we also know, we've established this, that it, it is the oldest uh, practice known to man. Uh, and there are no, no, no known side effects, provided it is an administrated by a fully trained and a qualified therapist in a hygienic environment. So, final, all I want to say something, sir, if you don't mind. You might beat me up outside, <laughs> I'm not sure. But we, a hijama therapist can consider um, wet cupping or hijama as the father of acupuncture. Um, I don't know how you're going to take it, but no. I, 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 that's my, my take on it and many other I therapies. Love <laughs> I, I, I love Chinese. I love traditional Chinese, but I'm not married. Bless you. <laughs> okay. 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 So, so here, my, my f absolutely final uh, conclusion here is it is an integrative curative and a preventative mode of treatment, a complete medicine system within itself, doesn't rely on anything else, completely independent. Um, and that's it, thank you. Very nice, thank you. And then I have to go to the bar. Any question? I knew you was going to grill me. <laughs> no, 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 no. The great happiness I saw thank when you put the connective tissue integration. That's right. Perhaps you remember in, in my presentation when I said, it's like a collagen wiring of a computing web. That's right, that's right. And that's right. Uh, we were talking about similarity. Yes. The people that 
uh, is fond of acupuncture could see that the what is the the, the uh, root of the lower jiao uh, had been there and, and all the liver uh, points had been issued in the reproductive problem so we found I, I, I am happy I, I told you to look for similarities yes that's it. oh we are in the correct way yes. these people yes have many people have, uh, have, have pre presented their um, uh, results and their findings and their deductions and I can draw very similar parallels uh, with what I personally do and with, with, with what, what other people do. Now, like I said, it's, it's part of a holistic medicine. I was speaking to the, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Baig there um, a few days ago, and, and he said the same thing. I, I've always believed in this, that it's part of uh, a, a bigger, a part of a, uh, a holistic treatment, should I say. I'm, I'm struggling to find the word. I'm a bit uh, nervous because I've I've never done a presentation ever in my life, it's my first time. Um, so I I'm very passionate about this, but if you can somehow find a, a lock and key mechanism that can erase ailments um, with assisted or facilitated with hijama, wet cupping, and then you're in a win-win situation. There is a, there is a method, but I'm working on that. I, I don't wish to disclose anything. But I'm, event and like I said, my, my, my methods, I work independently, are very independent. So in Yunani system of medicine is a complete system of medicine. Actually, this is the only oldest uh, type of medicine. Uh, everyone knows about in the alternative system, so many systems of medicine like Ayurveda, Yunani, Haram, um, uh, Siddha, and Naturopathy. So many, but in Yunani system of medicine, we have concept like akhlat, this akhlat means yeah. the humoral therapy, That's hum right. humoral theory. The humoral theory the is made up of four, four elements, yes. like yes. this blood and uh, safra, sauda, black bile, yellow bile, yes. and then we have uh, um, uh, dumb. This, this dumb Hippocrat means food. Hippocrates, Blood. Yeah. Also talk about Phlegm. Hippocrates yeah, Hippocrates. Yeah, Hippocrates, yeah. yes. This, we, according to our system of medicine, the hijama is based on the akhlat. Based on the akhlat. We, we are going to evacuate this abnormal akhlat, abnormal humors, which yeah, is accumulated. Which is, accumu yeah, yes. which is accumulated in abnormal forms. Yes. We are going to evacuate. That evacu evacuation is going to normalize the system of our human body that's one no, but we have touching on before homeostasis bringing back yeah, balances yeah, yes. yeah yeah that also yes and second important thing is second important is the thing is which we are um, concentrating on this our system of medicine is a regimental therapy one part of our treatment regimental therapy that regimental therapy is one of the part is hijama when we are treating hijama with the medicine the effect will come 100% with, we are treating alone because see when the, the drug will reach after the um, hijama is very effective on that after doing hijama. If it is you're doing alone hijama is may, maybe uh, in your research you have you done whatever this uh, percentage of this maybe it's more effective after if you're giving medicines. Well, this is I mean when we spoke and I was telling you as a biotechnician this is what I look in for pathological uh, uh, root mechanisms. Uh, and then form correlations with the key points on the body. Yeah. And it's very, very, I found it very, very effective. Um, like I said, very close to um, 100%. And they're, they're not concocted um, results. These are my own yeah. findings. I, my own but but our, yes. our concept says this thing you have to include with this medicines also along with this. Oh, oh, yeah. Right, I'm going to answer yeah. that question now. I, I had a patient who had yeah. gout. Uh, no, can, I, can I just an answer this question? I had a patient with gout. He'd been taking his medication for years and years and years, and his legs were swollen. He had edema in his legs. So I treated his legs and extracted lots of bilious blood, very, very thick congealed blood, very dark and black, totally yeah, separate. Uh, toxic, anyway, toxic. Yes. So he said, shall I stop taking my medication? Shall I stop taking my medication? He yes, was, 100%. He was on blood thinners. Yes, I yes. said, no, no. Now, the analogy that I gave to him is, this is a solid wall, okay? If we got a little hammer and chisel, sorry. If we got a little hammer and chisel, it will take us about a week to get through to the other side. 
But if we had a hammer drill and went, vroom, we'll go straight. This is exactly how uh, the bi mechanisms of hijama work. Yeah, it basically, that, that in your aspect, that you in in your aspect, whatever this you explained is hundred percent yes. right. But I, I in our yes, yeah, I in this. our humoral theory, theory is yes. explaining this humors which we are going to normalize. Yes. That is the main treatment for this regimental therapy. Yes, 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 yes. Right. If they, they'll work in unison. This is why I said it's an integ integrated part of medicine. I have a few comments about this. Uh, of course, sir. Hijama. This was actually first time I had exposure to hijama in so that well. detail. Okay. I just had name. I yes. never heard about techniques, never yes. saw yes. this done yes. also. Never anticipated, but it's uh, but far it is used. Yes. Uh, as far as uh, allopathic medicine or conventional treatments, yes. Or modern Western treatments, yes. If we consider this jama and try to correlate with incorporate other other mechanisms, if we see this systems. your diagram, yes, of backbone, and you have some spots there. For hijama. Yes. This is not because of aorta, abdominal aorta. It is far away. There are many barriers between aorta and the skin. But between, sorry. Between the aorta and skin, the there is about six inch, or if not six inch, anybody medical doctor here? Yes, sir. Uh, maybe three or four inches, <laughs> and very thick connective tissue. Yes, that is. Yes. yes. Starting from skin down to muscle, that down to bones, Yes. then uh, another facial sheet, Yes. then abdominal fascia, then there is aorta. And aorta also have many layers, Yes. muscular connective. That's right. So it is uh, apparently, it is not possible that we can explain anything from this hijama coming from aorta. This from, will, from, uh, people, uh, medical doctors, we laugh at that. What is talking about? Taking from uh, all the, this blood? Test. No, no. One thing. Secondly, somebody say it is septic blood. How we say septic? Why we call this septic? Well, I believe its color changes, it's extracted, it is venous or, or mixed blood. It's not venous blood, no. Also from tissue, no. many it, tissue, that is coming out. It, so whatever it is, it is blood. It is and blood. Blood is not septic. No, it's dead matter. We cannot say blood as septic. Have well, as se as not as septic as in the as sense because as please, as please let me complete. Let me complete by when you have anything, yes. you are welcome to comment it. So I believe it is blood, but when it come out, because of exposure to atmosphere, some of it is uh, changed to blackish colors. Also it is coagulated to some extent, so it changes the color. I quite, it is quite not disagree. that we are taking no. away something toxic from the body with this blood. This assumption also, if okay. you say like this, okay. many people will laugh at this. I don't okay, think... So I'm trying to say my... I, 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 I employ your the theory, yes, yes, of course. What I understand, what I can anticipate, anticipate it is like acupuncture. It is stimulating some of the tissues. Without doubt, yes. Also, yes. below that, there are nerves, nerve endings. In this, starting from skin down to muscle, there are nerve endings. And when we do this procedure, it may or it likely to work as acupuncture. This is possible. Um, In the current knowledge, we know about allopathic or uh, alternative medicine yes. or Whatever yes, the yes. method we know about yes. human body, it is more related to acupuncture because there are nerves which are stimulated by this extraction. Um, when you extract something close to the nerve, it is likely to be stimulated because of low pressure. And then that stimulation can produce some useful effect. There are also sympathetic nerves around there. And sympathetic system is also activated, parasympathetic also. Sympathetic, but I've so studied that very carefully, yes. To, in my opinion, what I understood very first time. Good point, valid point. 
As far as Iraq region is concerned, Iliak Fosa, you mentioned two points on both sides. This again, uh, those arteries, veins are a little far. They are a little far, yes, yes. Close I understand that, what you're trying to establish. Close to that yes. is vast difference beside the blood vessels. Well, when we do something with the vast difference, expect um, something, it will reduce pressure see, on the seminal vesicles. Can I, can I say something? Uh, some, sometimes we have to try to put in the, in the age when these have been developed. Yes. And perhaps you today can say this is similar to dialysis 2,000 years ago. Yes. But it could be. Uh, we, when we have this treasure of all this knowledge, of all you, that is our cultural inheritance of, of curing people, we have to take a lot of care of what we have in our hands. Perhaps I, I respect a lot what all are, are talking about, and some, something said, or is this, uh, is, I like this. No, I don't like this. Um, but they pass the proof of time. No, so perhaps we need to have that vision 2,000 years ago. Yes. No, and perhaps in next times he said, "Oh, it's like a very, very so, uh, rapid dial dialysis, and we have that 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 kind of of, you know, of, of you." I, I know what you say. It's correct. It's correct. I know. But uh, we are like trying to put in evidence in science what have been proved thousands of years ago. Yes, yes. This is very difficult yes. for us. See? Because today we can say acupuncture is the collagen wire. No, no, no. No, it's, uh, it's more likely like, um, how do you say, uh, stem cells. No, no, no. It's a quantic, uh, a quantic theory. You can change explanation, but as you ask me, the traditional principles will keep on. So we must respect the tradition that, that led to these results. See, uh, we have to study them, but we have the, the respect is like having, uh, uh, when you see an, a, a, an art in a museum and you said, oh, this is representative of a part of the time. If we don't take care of this, technology will pass over it and will disappear. It is lost knowledge. Uh, that is my opinion, and, and I, I, but I respect I everyone. Coming, I am coming to that also. Uh, these things we know in the 20th century, but these things practiced thousands of years ago. So this I was coming to that, but I just trying to, what he said, okay, possibly okay. related to that, because he's talking about allopathic medicine, we talk about abdominal aorta. Okay. Then we have to say something, how far it is possible to approach abdominal aorta well, from the no, back of the no, skin. Just, okay. no, I was... Yes, I'm talking in that sense. No, I said the... Also, if we say <laughs> infertility in male, yes. if we say low sperm count, and if we do some pressure on the vast difference, that is going to stimulate spermatogenesis. Okay, okay. Spermatogenesis, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, and uh, it was a splendid presentation. Thank, Thank you very you. much. It's the first I'm, <laughs> I'm just very passionate. I enjoyed it. Uh, I saw the passion <laughs> in it. My question from a different tradition, of course, is how do I cope with the pain? Have you thought about using some superficial pain very, very relief yes, so yes, that people yes. like us who are not in your culture and wanted to try that treatment can, you know, venture into it without fear? Thank you. Very good question. Many, many patients ask me that they're, they're, they're afraid of the pain factor during the incisions. Now, we can give them a local anesthetic or we can apply topical ointments which will numb the body for a little while, but you've got to understand, I'm sorry, systematic hijama relies on vasodilation principles. Now, the way, we bring, the way I treat my patients, it's not a 15, 20 minute session, it's two and a half hours. I spend time, I never see more than three patients in a day and I only treat on Monday, Tuesdays and Thursdays only, that's it. 
and I'm, I'm always fully booked. So how we bring about um, vasodilation is we give a deep tissue massage, opens up the blood vessels, um, new blood comes in, the, as you mentioned, superficial blood, topo topography, topographic blood, yes. No, but what? Okay, let Okay. Yeah. But what our concept teaches with the, the blood which is con the, uh, containing toxic effects, that is called humus, which is abnormal humus. It's one of the humus, yes, yes. It's bilious blood, yes. Yes, I know about this. Um, uh, yeah, coming back to the point now, I, I was talking about bringing, bringing about vasodilation, uh, fresh blood coming in, or or, or warmer blood coming in and pushing uh, the congealed blood, uh, which we call septic blood, because it, it's completely uh, separate to venous blood. It's nothing like venous blood. If you cut your hand, you will have pink blood co come out. When you go to donate blood, they will, they will prop a catheter in your, one of your major blood vessels. So there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a great display. I'm also doing research on this as well, but I need NMR, mass spectroscopy, um, and also... Um, What's the third thing? I can't think of it. I've got, I've got it written down anyway. I'll, I'll explain that. So if we ap apply a topical ointment, we define the whole principles of vasodilation. The reason being, when we apply some kind of uh, anesthetic, it numbs the bl uh, veins, uh, uh, the, the nerves, uh, and also stops blood from coming out from that region. It, it, we have a little time. We, yes. have, we have a phrase in our country that said, if you are very worried, you said, Please don't make bad blood. Yes, yes, yes exactly. It's, it's uh, anybody wants to discuss this, I, I, I will. I can have a session with you later on. Right. Um, but thank you for listening and making me work in the way I do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> it was.